Hey golfers, Tony with Reactionary Golf. I was over in our human performance lab looking at force play data on some different types of motion relative to the golf swing. And what I did was make four motions. I went and made a regular golf swing, right hand only golf swing. Didn't hit any balls, but just making the best swing possible, not being crazy. Then went ahead and said, okay, get up to the top, and now I'm just gonna kind of shift down. What can I do with my hips and my body to kind of squat down into that? And then I went ahead and finished it up by just taking a small wad of tape and just going ahead and throwing it right into uh, the floor. And I just wanted to see, because as we kind of look at things, I wanted to get a really clear idea of What's the best way to give you the relative meaning of all this force plate data, all this ground reaction force, to make it helpful for your golf game? And so now we're gonna take a look at what we collected. So what you see on your screen right here are the four different outcomes. And right now with the motion monitor software, I don't have everything synced up. Still working on um, using the so system and learning the software and stuff like that. Thanks to Ethan and Jeff over here in the kinesiology department. Uh, been a big help in, in coordinating this, uh, this great equipment. So what we see up here in the top left-hand corner is my right-hand only swing. Over in the top right is my regular golf swing. Bottom left is what I call my no arm down swing. And then bottom right was my throwing motion. And really what I want you to take a look at is the maximum values. Don't get caught up in the pictures because I don't have things synced up time-wise um, with this. So what I want to take a look at, so 255 pounds produces uh, 1,134 newtons. And that's what we're looking at when we start looking at force plate data. And what this is, the Z uh, axis is what we're looking at, which is just the vertical component. So when we take a look at it, I want to take a look at the max values. We can see here that the max value I got out of the right arm only was only 1179. So really, I wasn't, that's just slightly over my own body weight. And really the best thing and the biggest thing to understand about this is what the ground reaction force is really telling us. And I think the best way to kind of describe it to you is, is there's a couple key components that I want everyone to understand is, is the movement, all ground-based movement, is really a function of the forces applied to the ground, okay? Whether it's horizontal or vertical. Those are the forces that we are applying to the ground. So just my body mass and, and the pull of down with the gravity produces a force on the force plate. Okay, that's what it's measuring. So if we know 255 pounds is uh, 1134, we can see that just right arm only based on the speed of, the, of my arm and the acceleration in the downward and forward motion produced an extra 35 uh, newtons. When we look at the top right, my regular golf swing, we got another additional 200 and uh, about 50 261 additional newtons. So really, for me, I was able to double my force, okay, that I normally put into the ground from a, I wouldn't, no, nah, it wouldn't be double, it would be about 50% of it because I only put 255 pounds and I already got to take that out. So really, let's see what that number is. Let's take this out, and I'm just going to do a quick conversion here, 265 newtons. What does that equal in pounds? So it's an additional about 60 pounds, 59.57 pounds. So I put in about 60 pounds there. What was interesting, when we look at the no arm downswing, I just tried to put my, put my force and my body into it. Uh, with no arm downswing, no club downswing, I was only able to produce very – you know, 1143, very small. So when we take a look at that, I'm only putting in, you know, let's see, 34, uh, nine newtons. 
You know, that's only a couple pounds of force that I could kind of push down. Now I didn't, didn't want to, couldn't swing through. So, you know, I, 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 what I, there's a point to all this is ground reaction force is result of what we put into it. And I just wanted to put some numbers to it. Now, what was interesting is I threw this, when we look at the bottom right in the throwing motion, I got the 1481. Okay. So now when we start taking a look at that, um, that's 300 and, uh, I don't know, 330 additional Newtons, I think. More, a little bit more than that. You know, so now we put in 74 pounds more additional force that the force plate is picking up. So where did this extra force come from? This comes from the acceleration of your arms, the mass of your arms, okay, velocity of your arms, all those combined. And then obviously the mass and what the velocity and, uh, is coming in from the golf club. So this is something I want you to realize. We want to produce more ground reaction forces. That means we have to put more force into the ground. And where is that force coming in from? Now, my body works better when it works more of a horizontal type of motion than it does on a vertical motion in the golf swing because just my mass alone is producing most of the vertical uh, forces we see here. So this is just kind of a quick overview to give you an idea of what these forces look like. And again, this is no scientific study. I am just right now learning this software and making sure uh, I know how to use it for our research this semester. So this was just a quick insight. If you want more information, a little bit more detail, come and join us on Inside the Golf Lab as I dive deeper into these numbers and really how it affects and influences your golf swing. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye.